Hello my friends, Jane Garcia here. Uh, today I'm painting in gouache uh, using watercolor paper. Um, I'm doing this portrait. Gouache can be permanent or it can be reactivated like watercolors. There's two types of gouache. Uh, the regular one, which is the one that I'm using now, which is similar to watercolor but opaque. And the other ones are acrylic based gouache or acrylic gouache. And uh, those, once they dry in about 10 to 15 minutes, they become permanent. You can reactivate them, but once it's completely dry, then they won't let you reactivate uh, when you put water on it. But the regular gouache, like the one I'm using now, it can be reactivated as many times as needed. When I'm starting painting a portrait, like now I'm doing, I start blocking in the shadows. Uh, painting with gouache is very similar to painting with oils in the approach that you take when painting. Uh, for example, if you put paint on top of paint, it's going to cover it. Same as with oils. Uh, once uh, you're painting with oil, you let it dry a little bit, it gets tacky and that's when you can put more paint on top of the other paint. Uh, that is if you want to paint uh, a la prima. You know, if you don't want to let the paint uh, dry completely and do many layers in oils, that's when it, it's called a la prima, like I'm doing now. So it's in one sitting that you're painting. The brushes that I'm using are regular acrylic brushes. I started using some watercolor brushes brown watercolor brushes but I found that the teeth was very thin and I couldn't even see the hairs at, at the end of the brush when I was placing the brush um, it was so thin so I end up switching to acrylic brushes which are a little bit stiffer than watercolor brushes and that's the one that I'm using right now and it worked really well the painting itself is 5 by 7 on watercolor paper. It's a Canson, that's the brand that I'm using. It came in a pad of several sheets. When you're painting a portrait, don't try to get the lightness right away because it, it won't work. Uh, my suggestion is that you start blocking in all the shadows first and only then you start them put in the mid-tones and then the highlights. Uh, that's why you see me that I was blocking in very dark colors. Uh, remember that with gouache, the dark colors dry lighter, but the lighter colors dry darker. So it's the opposite. Don't get confused with that. So that's why you see that I place it very dark colors, but once it dries, it won't be that dark. And once I start putting the other colors, those dark colors that you see right now, they won't be there anymore, okay? And uh, once you paint the overall scene, because I like to work the entire piece at the same time, I don't like to finish just an eye and then go and paint fully the next eye. I don't work like that. I have to paint the overall picture because that lets me assess the colors better and compare one color when it's next to the other one because they change. When, when you place one color next to another, they're going to change the illusion uh, that you're seeing. It's not going to be the same as if I leave the space white, for example. The background right now, I don't have anything on, on the background. If I put color in the background, it's going to change the appearance of the face itself because the eye is looking at all the colors in combination. And you will see later on that I will add the background once I finish the, the face a little bit more. At, the, at this point in the painting, I thought that I was needing other hair to block it in because it would help me judge the face better than what I had. Remember that when you're painting, you're going to be correcting your colors all the time. And that's what painting is about. It's about correcting over and over all your strokes. And that doesn't mean that they are wrong. 
it's just that you're building up uh, if you're a sculptor you would do your sculpting little by little adding piece by piece to whatever you're doing the same is with paint you build paint on top of paint until you get the look that you're looking for this portrait specifically the person is under the sun so on the photograph his face was orange he was outside of course he's a basketball player so I added lots of orange around and but then at the end I'm gonna add some lighter colors because once I put the background and all that you know you assess the picture and you realize okay now it's getting too dark so you add some other colors lighter beige tones to the face and that's what your goal is, you know, to build little by little your portraits. So let me know what you think about the portrait, if you like it. But let me know what else would you like uh, to see. I like to paint in gouache because it helps me when I'm going to do up an oil portrait or acrylics portrait. I'm a portrait artist mainly. I do lots of commissioned portraits. And I like to do this 5 by 7 first because that way I have resolved the problem with colors. So I don't want to start a big painting on a canvas without knowing what colors I want to use. And sometimes I do it digitally. I have a Wacom Cintiq. So I do the portrait digitally so that I can work out the color combinations that I want to use. But in this case, for example, which is gouache, it's very fast, it dries really quickly, and, and like I said, it can be reactivated. So these little studies will help me resolve all the problems with colors and color combinations and working out what kind of background I'm going to use before I start doing the real painting. And I can also take a picture of this gouache portrait 5x7 and send it to my client via email for their approval. And uh, once they approve that painting or study, only then I start my portrait painting. So it works out really well for me. And I really recommend you, and, and you can practice even smaller heads. And you don't have to do a, a big head a big face on a piece of paper really big to learn how to paint portraits. Do them small so that you can do them quickly. Don't spend that much time. Try to paint as fast as you can but as slow as needed. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> and um, practice, practice. That's how you get better every time. You need to practice the, the anatomy and the placement, the relationships of the eyes and the nose and the mouth. You have to learn that. When you're painting, if you don't know how to paint you know, the anatomy, then you're gonna have a problem painting. You need to know how to draw. Some people say, okay, you can paint even if you don't draw, but then what are you gonna do? You're gonna use a projector all the time and then that's why many artists they freak out when I, they are using oils because they have these beautiful lines on the canvas that they drew with a projector and then once they start putting the oil on top those lines are gone so if you don't know anatomy and you don't know the, the head the forms you're not gonna get those forms back you're gonna freak out why because you don't know how to draw so that's why I encourage you to practice drawing. Do many, many drawings, different portraits, different angles. And that way, when you get to put paint on a canvas, you know how to resolve those problems and those shapes. When you're painting, try not to just draw lines. The face doesn't have really any line, except for the little hairs. But it's shapes where you're looking at. A line so everything has to be soft no hard lines on the face and that's why it's going to give them form to those faces so right now we are almost done on the portrait I was doing the headband putting some uh, direct red because I want it really bright and 
and then on top I put other colors just to give it texture. And I haven't done the earrings yet. He had uh, this kind of earring, really weird shape. Now you see when I put the highlights on the eyes, it brings that portrait to life. With the background, the portrait looks lighter. Doesn't look as strong as before when it was on top of the white background. So that's why it's a good idea to work the entire picture at the same time, not piece by piece. Let me do this ear, or let me just do the nose to completion. No, try to work all the way around. And that's my tip for today. Let me know what you think. Send your friends to my Patreon page and that way you can learn more about my way of painting and different media that I'm going to use. But thank you so much. This is Johnny Garcia. I'm signing my painting. And see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.